Alright, what's going on everybody? Afflicted Gamer here back with another Division video. So Global Event Blackout is out right now at the moment of making this video. It's day one and we have three new masks to acquire and I'm sure you guys want to know how to get them as quickly as possible. So that's why I'm making this video. Hopefully the tips will help you. If so, drop a like on the video. It's much appreciated. Anybody new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Division content. Closing in on 13,000 subs. Thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it and let's just go ahead and dive right in and talk about the masks now i'm on my pc account so i don't have them on here yet but i do have them on my ps4 account so i'll tell you guys what i did hopefully the tips are helpful and it will help you guys get your masks a lot sooner than later first up we have fists of fury perform a melee shock kill on 25 enemies the conditions extreme blackout or total blackout I recommend that you guys go to Hudson Refugee Camp, go there solo. The reason why I'm saying solo is because if you get your charge meter up and you go to melee an enemy and one of your teammates accidentally shoots them, then not only will you miss and cause a little bit of a stun and a shock to yourself and your nearby allies, but you also will not get the finishing blow and that's one less NPC that you got to kill to get the mask. Now, if anyone's a little bit still confused about the whole melee shock thing, when you run, you will start to build up your charge meter, or you can even just shoot the ground a little bit. See the blue line go up. There you go. As soon as it starts to get red, make sure that you stop shooting. If you're running, that's fine. You can continue to run towards your NPC that you're going to hit, melee them, and that is that. You will have to just simply rinse and repeat until you have 200 kills, and then you'll get the tail mask. The second mask that you're going to go after is safety first. Complete an activity during blackout without shocking yourself. World tier 5, hard difficulty or above, extreme blackout or total blackout, and in a group. There are a couple of different ways that you can approach this. One is if you have a friend, go into a mission on hard difficulty and, well, basically let your friend take you through the mission while you sit back and keep your distance. When you're done, you'll get the mask and actually at the same time complete a second combination which is to not drain an ally's health you get kind of two for one if you don't have anybody to team up with put together a skill build take it slow I would go to Lincoln Tunnel for this one personally if that is the case especially it's a little bit more spaced out you don't have any of the hatchet guys rushing you so take your time stay back when you get to the final boss, do not kill the boss. Open up your group, put it to war, put it to matchmaking. As soon as another agent joins your team, go then go ahead and kill the boss and you will get the mask, no problem. The last one, which is the one that I'm working on first here on PC is Thunder and Lightning. Kill 150 enemies while they are shocked. It's actually a total of 500. There are, again, a couple of different ways you can do this. I'm here in clear sky. What you can do is, once you get to the point where you're going to place the bomb, put down an ammo cache and kill all of the rushers. Again, you don't have to be in world tier 5. You can be if you need phoenix credits or field proficiency caches to get some extra gear out of there, whatever the case is. Or if not, go ahead and drop it down to world tier 2 and do it that way. If you do kill the bomb guy, which actually I did, do not place the bomb because if you do, the APC will start to spam grenades at you and then that just becomes a hassle. Where this way, sit down, sit down the ammo cache and there are crates around you if you do run out of ammo or, or you do get very low if your skills are on cooldown. Kill the rushers and that is that. If you don't want to be here, you can actually also go to resistance. I would go to pier 93 get yourself up to wave four because that is when you have to scan an objective fail don't open the doors to scan the objective just keep killing the npcs rinse and repeat once you fail the objective you'll die respawn and then simply just do it again put down an ammo box in the center of the, the little room there kill all the npcs they're going to rush you for the most part anyways and then eventually you'll be done also on the again on the upside if you haven't played a lot of resistance you'll also get some combinations done from there as well so anyways pretty much you can get all three of these done in one night if you have enough time a couple of hours two to three hours tops 
If not, at least this way it's uh, a couple of quick ways you can get two of them done pretty much uh, right away. And then the other one just take you a little bit of time. But overall, not too long at all. So, anyways, that is it for me, guys. Hopefully the tips were helpful. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, let me know which mask is your favorite. If you had to pick just one, which one would you go after and why? Other than that, have a great time during Blackout Agents. Good luck on the grind getting the gear and the builds that you want. And I'll see you soon in the next video or in the next live stream.